We're asked to find the height of the triangle pictured above if the area is 7.5 square units. The area formula for a triangle is area equals 1 half base times height or base times height divided by 2. But we'll be using the formula in the form area equals 1 half base times height. Well, for the pictured triangle, the base is this side here that has a length of 5 units, and the height would be this length here, which is unknown. So let's say we'll this side B for base, and this length H for height. Because we know the area is equal to 7.5 square units, we can use the area formula to set up an equation and then solve for the unknown height, where the area is equal to 1 half times the base, which is 5, times the height, which is unknown, so times h, which must equal 7.5. Let's first simplify the left side of the equation by determining the product of 1 half and 5. If it's helpful, we can write 5 as a fraction with the denominator of 1, so 1 half times 5 equals 5 halves, so we have 5 halves h equals 7.5, Notice how because we have a fraction on the left side of the equation and a decimal on the right, for doing this by hand, we need to convert the decimal to a fraction or the fraction to a decimal. Let's first convert the decimal to a fraction, and then we'll come back and do the problem again by using decimals. So we should recognize that 7.5 would be 7 and 5 tenths, and 5 tenths simplifies to 1 half, and therefore 7.5 is 7 and 1 half, as a mixed number, and as an improper fraction, the denominator would be 2, and the numerator would be 2 times 7, which is 14, plus 1, and therefore 7 and 1 half equals 15 halves. So let's write the right side of the equation as 15 halves. And now to solve for h, we need to undo this multiplication. And because we have 5 halves h, which means 5 halves times h, we're probably thinking we should divide both sides by 5 halves, which is correct, but instead of dividing by a fraction, we normally multiply by the reciprocal instead. And therefore, instead of dividing both sides by 5 halves, we will multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 5 halves, which means we'll multiply both sides by 2 fifths. Notice on the left side, because these are reciprocals, the product is 1 times h, which equals h, where we can show the simplification before multiplying. 2 and 2 share a common factor of 2. There's 1, 2, and 2 here and here. Common factor of 5 here. There's 1, 5, and 5 here as well as here. Again, giving us 1 times h, which equals h. And on the right side, simplifying before multiplying, we have a common factor of 2 here. There's 1, 2, and 2 here and here. 5 and 15 share a common factor of 5. There's 1, 5, and 5, and 3, 5, and 15. Notice how the product on the right is just 1 times 3, which equals 3. And therefore, the height of the triangle is 3 units. This is how we can determine the height using fractions. Let's go back and solve the equation again using decimals. So starting with the original equation, again we had 1 half times 5 times h equals 7.5. And we know that 1 half times 5, or 1 half times 5 over 1 is 5 halves. So we have 5 halves h equals 7.5. This time, let's convert 5 halves to a decimal, because 7.5 is a decimal. To convert 5 halves to a decimal, we divide 5 by 2. There are two fives in two. Two times two is four. We subtract. Five minus four is one. Because we want a decimal, we can put a decimal point after the five in the dividend, move it up to the quotient, and then add a zero to the right of the decimal point. We can bring that zero down. And now determine how many twos are in 10, which is five. Five times two is 10. Subtracting the difference is zero. And now we know five halves is equal to 2.5. And therefore, we can write the left side of the equation as 2.5h equals 7.5. And because 2.5h means 2.5 times h, in order to solve for h, we need to undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by 2.5.
Dividing by 2.5 undoes multiplying by 2.5. The left side simplifies to h. Or 2.5 divided by 2.5 is 1. 1 times h is h. And on the right side, we have 7.5 divided by 2.5. Let's go and show that work. 7.5 divided by 2.5. We need the divisor to be a whole number. So we move the decimal point to the right one place in the divisor. We can do this as long as you do the same to the dividend. Move the decimal point to the right one place here as well, and then up into the quotient. And now we divide like we normally would. So we need to determine how many 25s are in 75, which is 3. 3 times 25 is 75. Subtracting, the difference is 0, and therefore the quotient is 3. Our solution, again, is h equals 3, giving us the height of 3 units. So now we know if a triangle has a base of 5 units and a height of 3 units, the area will be 7.5 square units. I hope you found this helpful.